tour level golf fitness and performance is right here. <laughs> This is level three of the TaylorMade Winter Workout Series, and we're going directly to the Golf Hot app for today's performance workout. Level one with zero equipment, and we got you moving. It's a great place to start your golf fitness journey, and that was a nice taste. Level two, we brought in some equipment, loaded the body, showed you how to improve your game in various different ways, including asymmetry, speed, and rotation. Today, we're going to our top level of programming, which is focused strength and conditioning and you know in winter we're gonna be making some gains guys right it's a great time to allow adaptation in your body and then build it into power and speed next year so that your golf goes to the next level time to hit the workout do so movement number one is the dumbbell snatch this is an asymmetrical movement requiring the whole body to work in sequence and build unilateral stability which fuses directly into your swing Hinge at the hip, keep your chest over the dumbbell, and as you push into the ground, raise to the hip, extend, shrug, and finish out overhead, moving fast and with excellent form throughout. Acceleration so that we absolutely do increase your performance. So, set one is gonna help you move faster, improve your rotation, and improve your swing. It's also going to get the body fired up, hips moving, posterior chain active, which alongside your thorough warm-up leads us into our deadlift strength set. So here, you can use whichever deadlift variation you prefer and can execute with awesome form, guys. Right? We're going with the conventional barbell deadlift and we are looking at strength reps throughout. So, hit your percentages, hit the rep scheme, and in terms of movement focus, we are looking to Stand close to the barbell. Get really close so that you maintain a straight bar path that is close to your center of gravity. From here, hinge backwards at the hip, bring yourself over the bar and create a neutral spine position. Once you've hit that set, which is gonna be five sets of four reps, plenty of rest, you're then gonna go into what is a drop down set for high level ground reaction forces and acceleration. So we're gonna maintain a similar movement to the deadlift, but bring the weight down and go with the kettlebell swing. That's a hinge at the hip, we're using the ground, awesome thoughts. We're gonna match that with the box jump, because whilst the legs and the full body are fully primed, muscles active, we add in speed and acceleration to absolutely jack up our performance, guys. All right, so getting into that set, movement number one is the Russian kettlebell swing. Okay, so here you will take the kettlebell and rest high at the thigh. Okay, as you then hinge in the motion, you'll push your hips back, load the hamstrings, load the glutes, and make sure your feet are engaged against the ground. Once you hit that end range of motion, you are going to extend the hip, be aggressive, create lots of force, and bring the kettlebell up to eye level before then returning the motion, hinging and extending again. Be aggressive and be smooth with your movement. Movement number two, the box jump is all about execution and how you use the ground. So here, set the box at a challenging height that you can execute well. You will then elevate first, all right? Take your hands high, extend and get tall in your movement pattern before you compress, use your body weight against the ground to then accelerate and create vertical force. So far in this workout, you have improved your rotation and speed capacity. You got stronger and more stable as well as more durable, and now, you start to use the ground better and really accelerate when you move. This is what really separates the workouts in golf what We want you to be your best on and off the course, and that is what these workouts deliver, guys, right? And we wouldn't be a golf what without your workout of the day.